Ukraine mourners bury four-year-old girl as Russian attacks intensify. Mourners in central Ukraine have buried a four-year-old girl who was killed by a Russian missile strike in the city of Vinnytsia last week, as officials and analysts warned that Moscow's operational pause of recent days had come to an end, signaling further death and pain to come. The killing of Lisa Dmitrieva, who had Down syndrome as she was pushed in a stroller through a crowded square, was reported around the globe, becoming a poignant symbol of the heavy civilian cost of Russia's invasion. As Lisa was buried, Russian rockets and missiles continued to pound Ukrainian towns and cities amid warnings that a renewed Moscow offensive could target the region around northeastern Kharkiv from where Russian troops had partially withdrawn, as well as the eastern Donetsk region, which is seen as the Kremlin's principal focus. During a visit to the front lines this weekend, the Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu ordered troops to further intensify the actions of units in all operational areas. The Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky urged his people not to fall for Russia's attempts to scare them with warnings of horrendous missile attacks to come, which he said were aimed at dividing Ukrainian society. It's clear that no Russian missiles or artillery will be able to break our unity or lead us away from our path toward a democratic, independent Ukraine, he said in his nightly video address to the nation on Saturday. And it's also clear that Ukrainian unity can't be broken by lies or intimidation, facts or conspiracy theories. The Ukrainian military said Russia appeared to be regrouping units for an offensive towards Slovyansk, a symbolically important city held by Ukraine in the eastern region of Donetsk. The British Defense Ministry said on Sunday that Russia was reinforcing its defensive positions across the areas it occupied in southern Ukraine after pressure from Ukrainian forces and pressures from Ukrainian leaders to force out Russia. Ukraine says at least 40 people have been killed in Russia shelling of urban areas in the last three days as the war launched by Putin on 24 February intensifies. That's it for today. Thank you and see you in the next videos.